Hi there, and many thanks for tuning in to Y254 TV. It's time for Newsbeat. Thank you so much for tuning in and choosing to be with us this 19th day of the month of May 2022. A very good Thursday evening to you. My name is Dereva Hilary. Welcome to the broadcast. Residents of Trukana County are appealing to the government to restore peace in the volatile region. This follows a series of insecurity incidences, especially along the Kainuk Lodwa Highway, where several people were attacked by bandits. Speaking in Lodwa. Because when an element of insecurity happens across the world, it is taken as serious. I don't know why in Trukana these raids are happening, but we are not really seeing a full combat of security coming to face uh, the kind of insecurity that is facing the Trukana people. I have to say that the government has been able to ya kuoa watu na kuchukua mali. So hii kitu tunaikata na tumeamua tukea viongozi kwamba hii kitu iishe na imalizike watu wa Turkana waishi na amani. Nataka amani tunakufa, tunaumia. Matumbo yamechomeka. Amani. Njia inatumaliza. Hakuna biashara. Sisi tunaenda biashara lakini tunakosa sasa hakuna kwenda. Hakuna kwenda. Hakuna kwenda tutafanya namna gani? Woi! Disarmament of heavily armed Pokos terrorists residing within the Tukana South National Reserve in Kadengoi, Lotongot and Namambu that acts as criminal hideouts to save the extinction of wildlife and eradicate highway robbery. Kuna GSU, kuna ile RDU, kuna ile ASTU, kuna OCS wa Kainu, kuna wenzake. Kwa hivyo tumejipanga vilivyo kwa hakikisha ya kuwa, wanainti tena hawata sumbuka katika yu barabara. Nani kisikia? And now to some political stories. A section of DP Kenya leaders have poked holes on the Kenya Kwanza Coalition Power Sharing Agreement proposing toward Ford Kenya and Amani National Congress Party 30% of the government uh, uh, slots conditions that they bring on board. 70% of the Western vote. The leaders led by DAP Kenya leader Wafula Wamunyini, Said Wetangla and Mosali Mudavadi have not been promised anything for the Western region. Jambo na bi wetu elija wana meme alisema. Siku moja uongozi uje kwa nyumba ya mlembe. A section of the politicians from Migori County has urged the Independent Electron Boundaries Commissioner IEBC to deliver credible elections in order to reduce cases of electoral petitions that result from bungled elections. The leaders who spoke in Migori says the commission should uphold the principle of integrity by delivering accurate, in the, accurate results rather in the upcoming general elections in Migori to generate unnecessary petitions like in other places where elections may get mismanaged and candidates end up filing petitions. Vyama vietu vijirudie na vyaanze kufanya kulingana na mujibu wa sheria. Lakini nasikitika kusema ya kwamba katika inji yetu ya Kenya hatuna vyama vya kisiasa. Vitu ambavyo tuko navyo ni vyama vya watu binafsi ambavyo havina maono 
ndipo nikasema ni afadhali niende mimi kama askofu mstaafu daktari Onyanja niwe mgombea uhuru tusituka nane tutafute kura kwa amani tusifanye ile yenye unaenda kwa mitandao unatukana mwenzako hata maneno yenye hata iwezi semekana na sisi kama kina mama tukue wa ANC tukue wa ODM tukue wa Kenya Kwanza tukue wa Azimio sasa tuwache mambo ya vyama na tuwache mambo ya ukabila uwe mkamba uwe mluya uwe mjaluo uwe mturukana uwe mteso na kabila mbalimbali mbali. tunasema ya kwamba sisi wote tuangalie Martha Karua kama mama mama mwenye tukimsupport atafanya sisi wa mama wenye tuko hapa pia tuende juu na tume tumekubaliana sisi wote hii wase wako hapa ni wase kutoka miaka amzini kwenda juu tumekubaliana sisi wote mwenda ndio tunapeleka mbunge mimi kama mwenda duranera niko tayari kuhudumia watu wote wa Isiolo bila kubagua yeyote sababu Isiolo ni ya kila mtu tunamwombea katika wema jamii sote za Isiolo simuunge mkono sio wase wale wako hapa mpeke yao ni wote walio katika Isiolo i want to appeal to myself appeal to my competitors and appeal to all other candidates in all other positions that this is our county we don't want our county to emerge as a violent area President Uhuru Kenyatta has today appointed a tribunal to investigate the conduct of the High Court Judge Said Ali Chitembo that will be chaired by Justice Mumbi Ngogi. On 5th of May, the Judicial Service Commission, JSC, recommended to the head of state the suspension of Justice Chitembo over allegations of gross misconduct and impropriety. Now, a woman accused of masquerading as an advocate has been remanded in custody for an indefinite period after he, uh, attem her attempts to be freed on a bond were dismissed by the Kikuyu Law Court. Winnie Wairimo, who runs an advocate office in Kikuyu town, has been termed as a serial masquerader. <laughs> in Kikuyu Law Courts in 2019 and convicted and if released on bond is likely to abscond. Further that investigations are still ongoing and likely to interfere with the investigation. The government is threatening to auction on to take action sorry on girls in Kilifi who benefit from scholarships and the and then get preg pregnant, abandoning education on the way. Angela Wafula, the Malindi Assistant County Commissioner, said the government had invested a lot of money to sponsor bright students from poor backgrounds with a view to changing their lives and would not tolerate indiscipline among the beneficiaries. <laughs> Ofisi ya national government kazi yetu ni kufuatilia kuona kuwa kazi za, e, pesa zozote za serikali zimetumiwa vizuri tutakuja hata kwenu kwenye maboma si mnajua wazee wa vijiji wako pale hiyo bado ni ofisi ya DC na watatuambia ule msichana wa fulani ambaye alilipiwa fees amepata mimba nitakuja kukuweka ndani kusema kweli mengi yashaongelewa kuhusu wanafunzi wetu ambao sasa wanaelekea kuenda kwa masomo ya shule za upili kazi kwenu wazazi tuendelee kuongea na watoto wetu tusiseme ushaongea mara moja yameisha tuchukue muda mwingi wetu kuongea na hawa watoto mwaka huu wakati huu serikali ya Kenya ijaribu namna ijaribu namna kabisa tuweke tulete watoto waende form 1 na to address the issues wale ambayo wame drop out wengi wame drop out kwa form 2 form 3 form 4 wame wameenda jambaye for this scholarship is a full one is offering uh, school fees 
uniform, a pocket money, transport for our kids to ensure that uh, they just uh, able to enjoy all the services or all the they are able to enjoy everything that any other kid is able to enjoy. We shortlisted uh, 600 for the interviews and uh, we have visited 530. Out of that we have come up with a final list of 306 whom we feel are the most and now to some sad news. Grief has engulfed in Mulundu village in Lurambi after a man was buried alive when a quarry caved in. The 31-year-old is reported to have expressed fears before embarking on his job. Simon Boni, who was the sole breadwinner of his young family, had been left without an option but proceed with the job. And according to his wife, Catherine Mushemi, Simon had been warned to take up the task due to lack of better option. He proceeded to the quarry where he met his death. Then I can't. I can't think of all the you. Then I can't read. I can't remember she didn't need. I can't do it like any Roy and we make it. I can't remember my Roy make it. The father like I do chin. I can't do it. I can't remember. I can't Watoto ndio hao wanataka pesa ya mtiani sasa unataka nitoe wapi kamwambia basi enda lakini pia mimi roho yangu imekata ndio sasa nimepata report mchango umemwambia The Cooperative Alliance of Kenya, CAK, has begun a three-day blood donation campaign to stock the country's blood bank and save lives. Chief Executive Office of the CAK, Daniel Marube, has said the Ushirika Blood Drive is aware of giving back to the society as cooperative, adding that they intend to reach at least 300 volunteering donors this year. We should not have donated in the last three to four months. We don't have such a huge deficit of blood, but we have not met our, our targets. The cooperative movement uh, values cooperation. We cooperate with every partner that comes forward, and our business, uh, our shared values as a, as a movement, and enables us to be able to do things with a lot of ease. So uh, we encourage. Uh, those who do not, um, who have not subscribed also to the to be a cooperator somewhere, to come and see and learn the, the, how cooperation amongst cooperators works, and you get empowered. So part of the activities that we are doing that resonates very well with the principles and values of cooperatives is to be concerned and to support one another. In Kenya at the moment, the demand per year for blood is 500,000 and we are encouraging the young people if you are below 65 and you are in good health come here and donate sacrifice support your brother who is sick in hospital And Boda Boda operators in KC County have been encouraged to turn up in large numbers and be enlisted at various registration centers to ensure they operate within the law before the deadline set by the government. The National Transport and Safety Authority, Road Safety Officer General, Gerald Ayugo, Oyugo rather stated that 6,541 operators have been registered at KC Huduma Center and Keumbu registration centers. He urged the operators to Sana muhimizo wale ambao wako karibu na nyinyi watumie hiyo nafasi kuenda pale kwa sababu saa hii watu wamepungua na senda zimefunguliwa nyingi si kweli sio kama ile wakati senda ilikuwa moja watu wote wa kutoka Keumbu wa kutoka wapi wanakuja hapa kukua boda boda you need four items. Jambo la kwanza, uwe licensed. Jambo la pili, 
pikipiki ambayo unatumia iwe na insurance insurance yako eh third party PSV then uwe na helmet wewe rider uwe na helmet you are pillion passenger awe na helmet rider uwe na reflective jacket pillion passenger awe na reflective jacket lazima tuungane for us to form a formidable group ambayo itatusaidia lazima tuungane tuwe watu wengi maana tukiwa watu wawili watatu tunakuwa na hizi tunaita self help groups asitusaidia asi hata kidogo you will not walk to a bank and be given a ba a loan because you are not recognized Thank you for staying with the news bit you watching as you on Y254 TV. Donkey stakeholders in Kamulu and Roy in Kasarani sub-county have raised concern over continued mistreatment and overworking of the animals which sometimes cause their deaths and disease infections. Donkeys in the areas in this area are being overworked because of the demand for services that they are offering. So there are donkeys that are taking hardware material to the construction sites, and there are donkeys that are supplying water in the different areas, um, homesteads and shops around the area. So for us, we we've noted that when they have the poor harnessing and the um, the high demand for work, then the wounds tend to. <laughs> yake ni, ni nyepesi sana. Kwa hivyo ukifunga weke kitungumo sijui ni kwa nini wengi unakuta ameweka mpaka kamba. Wakati umeweka kamba pale ujue punda wako ataumia. Na kwa sababu punda abebi na mwili, punda anabeba na shingo. Punda ni kubeba kwake, kufuruta kwake ni shingo. Si huko unafikiria wengine wanaweka wana wapi? Shingo ndio furuta. Na kwa ndio unaona akiumia. Lakini ukimweka vizuri matandiko yake hiyo mzuri, utakuta hiyo punda ako kazi na ako fit na ako. So we continue to urge the people who are working with donkeys and even members of the public to come together, help improve the donkey welfare in different ways. You can report donkeys that have been cruelly treated. You can ask the owners to report the donkeys to the vets so that they can get some treatment. Yeah. So we've seen a number, an increase in the number of foals in the area. Foals are small donkeys. Um, so it's, it's good to see that the population is increasing and also that the care that is given to the donkeys is better because they have shelters now. And now in business, the Ministry of Agriculture last month set aside 5.7 billion, billion shillings toward fertilizer subsidies meant to caution farmers and boost food production. This scheme, however, has been dubbed insufficient as farmers in Akuru County decry shortages in fertilizer input despite the onset of the rains. Fertilizer was a deal na sasa tulikuwa naomba kama tunaweza kuagusiwa kidogo sababu hata wengine wanapada bila fertilizer sasa ndio tunaomba Mungu awaguse wakubwa ndio waagusie fertilizer kweli tulikuwa na shida kubwa sana wakati wa kiangazi sababu hakuna kichochote kikitoka ndani ya shaba kwa hivyo tulikuwa na shida kubwa sana kwa wakati huu tuko sawa sababu unaona mbuyu imenyesha mahindi ni kubwa viezi viezi nyewe ziko na matarajio tunatarajia kitu tunashukuru kwa Mungu Mwaka huu tunatarajia mafuno ikue juju mwaka hiyo ingine hatukuweza kufuna chakula ya, ya kutusaidia sana lakini kwa mwaka huu tuna matarajio mazuri kulingana hivi Now away from Kenya, Russia's invasion of Ukraine could soon cause a global food crisis that may last for an year. The UN has warned. Secretary General Antonio Guterres said the war had worsened food insecurity in poorer nations due to raising prices. Some countries could face long-term famines in Ukraine's exports if Ukraine's exports rather are not restored to pre-war levels.
And lastly, in sports, Chelsea can, com can complete a leg double against Leicester for the first time since the season of 2016 and uh, 17 when the two sides met at the Stamford Bridge in one of the three English Premier League matches on a card today. Everton will be guaranteed a place in the top flight next season if they defeat Crystal Palace while Aston Villa will be at home against Burnley. Meanwhile, uh, Rangers have suffered an agonizing penalty shootout loss after one one on full time and extra time draw in the of the European final as the in ranch Frankfurt triumphed in an absorbing Europa League decider at the Ramon Sanchez Pigeon Stadium last night. Issues. Timo Wana is And with that st sports a story, we mark our broadcast tonight. Many thanks for staying with the news bit here on Y254 TV. See you again next week, Thursday. Till then, enjoy the rest of our programming. My name is Dereva Hilary. Have yourself a lovely night and goodbye.